Hello, and welcome to the next episode of the DVW. I'm your host, Joe, and as always, my editor, Brian Johnson of Crazy Artist Productions. So today in the DVW, we are going to be building a model cargo spaceship for my buddy Brian. Uh, we need it in an episode of Mercs that we're doing, and uh, final shoot days are here, and we need a ship first scene. So I'm going to try to scratch one together pretty soon. Uh, so I went out and I have purchased things from Goodwills, St. Vinny's, Dollar Tree, and as usual I got a bunch of junk in my shop itself. So I will be able to put together hopefully some uh, reasonable facsimile of a ship so he can use. And all, we're, all we need it is for uh, undershot of it. So the top of it can look like junk as long as the bottom looks uh, pretty darn cool and unique. So, um, to start out, a few of the things that we got are things from the dollar store. Um, cans of slime. Now I envision using these for uh, parts of the engines, uh, the thrusters as you will, that would uh, keep it in hover motion. Um, the slime will not stay in there. It'll go into container and be put to good use for a future episode of Mercs. Or what other crazy scheme that Brian uh, divulges to us in script form. Uh, toy. Old fashioned toys. These things are great for many things. Um, just seeing that from be below could be the front of the ship. Who knows? I don't know if it'll quite make it, but $2.99. I think it was half price. Rope. Jump rope. One each. Yellow. Really good for um, engine lines, uh, any type of uh, hydro lines, uh, air lines, or whatnot. Just unique pieces on the ship, going from point to point. This I picked up, $1.99. I think this was like 25% off or something like that. Um, but I kind of pictured this as like the undercarriage, a fuselage, uh, a fuselage or, or something like that. Uh, I think it would be a pretty unique piece to a uh, model ship. We'll find out. Stays or goes. Once again, $1.99. I envisioned it as the rear of the ship main engine, it could be the front of the ship, uh, bay of some sort. Um, once again, from the bottom, it should look pretty interesting, pretty cool. Don't know. We'll find out how big the ship actually gets and how functional uh, it will be. John Deere toy tractor trailer. Once again, thought it was a nice little under cargo spot. Uh, once you get all the wheels and stuff off, uh, we'll find out though exactly if it will stay or if it will go. <sighs> I do believe that's it for all the. Um, oh, wait, yeah. Lights. Blinky lights. I think they go blinky or they go. They stay on. One or the. One or the. One or the other. But um, they're LEDs, so these will take very little energy and uh, placed right in the ship will look really cool. So, without further ado, um, let's get on with the show. Also, today, once again, I am using my cell phone as the camera, but with an addition, I am testing out my... Uh, digital recorder with it. I've got a mic set up for it, um, shotgun mic. So uh, I'm going to experiment and see how well it works, um, how good the quality is of this uh, recorder. I'm assuming the recorder is way better than the quality on the sound on my, on my uh, phone. So uh, Johnson, this is to you. Project number two, still cell phone. One more project with the cell phone, but this time it's sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this junk together. 
Huh, I really don't know how this is going to start. I do know that I want to start out with this bad boy. Let's see, you take all price tags off. nubs here that I'm not quite sure if I think they're stick to, stuck in. I think I might leave them on there and they can be used as bumper plates or they might get covered up later. There's no telling. Okay, so I wanted this to actually be part of the ship. Pay no attention to that. That was just things falling. So I'm spraying a little alcohol on here to get the handy dandy sticky crap off from the sticker. Most of it's okay because it's just going to get painted over later. Okay, so. I really don't want to destroy the John Deere toy, but sometimes you have to give in to the dark side. Brian might have to actually cut that out later. Okay. So right now, I am really distracted because I really want to use this as the engine. It's got a really unique way of, to its look. But with what I've got here, I'm not necessarily sure it's actually going to work without doing some major modifications to one of these, which I think I might actually have to do. So. Okay, it appears that I might actually be able to construct that the way I want. And I've got a couple points where I can epoxy that'll actually make it a fairly strong bond. So another thing I like to do is um, anytime I get like a, a new item that uh, comes in the plastic packaging, uh, like pens, um, I tend to, when they're flat anyways, like this came from uh, elastic package, I keep them because they make really great trays for mixing epoxy. Okay, now while that's drying and setting up, um, go ahead and get rid of this for now. Don't think I need that. Actually, it might, it'll be a good tray for things taken apart. Let's try this thing.
Well, then there's always option B, the option I like. Just cut it off with a hacksaw. Okay, this is hilarious. Um, this toy robot has a lot of genres on it. Uh, you can see the Jawa's huge tank creeper right here. Uh, a Death Star. And the Starship Enterprise. With a multitude of other science fiction ships. What the fuck you gotta do with two Starship Enterprises and two Death Stars? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but all in all, that piece could be painted up and used later. So obviously, there are some eyes on this robot head, so those will not be on the bottom of the ship, because that just kind of looks like a face. So that looks like it might be the bottom of a cockpit or area like that. And. Talk about set it and forget it. Looks like I'm going to have to hold it here for a little bit because when I moved it, it shifted because I'm a bad. So now I'm going to have to let it strengthen up a bit in this position. At the same point, cut off all the dribbles. Thank you for joining this week's episode of the DVW. Uh, next week, we will continue working on the details of the ship, and I believe we're actually cutting this into a three-part series. So, thank you for joining us. See you next time.